947. Get to watch the sunset tonight. Just finished. Just finished up my last property, and the only reason why I'm still cutting at 947 is because it's a commercial lot. The grass was uh, 10 feet tall, uh, almost, and uh, and it was a first-time customer. I knew I, was, I knew I could do it because there wasn't any residents around, and I mean the, the stores around here close at 10, so no big deal but i'm glad i got that in going to uh going to bamp this weekend that'll help pay for some gas and help to pay for uh an upcoming trip that we're going on we're just going to bamp for the day so yeah i'll take it the lord the lord's gonna give it to me i'll take it and i'll cut it and uh it's I'll take every opportunity I can get at this point. If the work's gonna come in, that's great. Monday to Friday, I am 100% uh, gung-ho on getting everything done, shutting down at sun sunset. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I just wanted to make a video because this is actually the latest I've ever actually cut before. Um, so, man, that was cool. The guy called me at, uh, he called me at six and he said, can you go have a look at the Sobeys property? He has an eight, an empty lot beside Sobeys. So I went over there and had a look and I said, okay, this is going to take me, uh, took, how long did that take me? It actually took me um an hour and 15 minutes and the grass was seriously four feet tall and it was about an eight thousand square foot lot it was only eight or four feet tall around uh certain spots other spots were just like sparse so it only it did take me an hour and 15 minutes and uh i mean i did end up running over a rock and the blades were you know, might have damaged some blades there. But uh, anyway, it uh, that stuff happens when you're dealing with these high, high lots. It's hard to walk around. I mean, the blades aren't destroyed. They're just, you know, I got to sharpen them now. But uh, yeah, so he called me at six. I said, okay, I'll go over and have a look. I was done my mowing route at eight. I went over there and I said, I called him back. I said, is this the property? I, I FaceTimed him. I wanted to make sure. He said, yes. In fact, I'm coming in from Calgary. If you, I said to him, I said, I'll cut this tonight. He said, okay, I'm coming in from Calgary. I'll bring some cash. Um, and that's, which is half an hour away. Calgary's half an hour away. Him and his wife came out. They're going to build a property. Or they're going to build a, some kind of a business on the land. So they came out. They got Tim Hortons. They brought me a, uh, an iced tea it was just good times meeting them and uh they came over they gave me the big thumbs up i was three quarters of the way done they were happy and uh now they want me to take care of it once a month so uh yeah so that's great i can definitely do that and uh yeah so you never really know what what's what's next in the queue what's next you know, your day's never over until it's over. So, I haven't made a video for a little while. I'll see if I can recap some things. Got a huge property. I mean, this property is five acres. Five acres. Uh, and the guy called me and said, you can't get anybody to do it. Can you do it? Drove by, had a look at it. And it's right next to a co-op uh, grocery store. They, you know what the guy told me? He said, yeah, we, ha uh, we were told you were the person to phone. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, that's a compliment. I said, I, said, I can't do this because I went by and looked at it. Place is huge and it's too big. And uh, I said, sorry, I can't do it. 
I gave them a list of customers that could do it. I mean, uh, businesses that could do it. He said, no, no, we're not dealing with them. We've dealt, we've dealt with them. We're not dealing with them anymore. So uh, he said, that, and I gave him a reference to somebody else that I know that could probably do it, solo guy like me, with bigger with bigger mowers. And he was really appreciative. And, uh, and so my friend, I gave my friend the work and he's gonna go over and cut it. So he was really happy that I got in contact. <coughs> uh, everybody was happy in this whole deal. So, um, yeah, so this thing, it's just too big. And, I, and after getting that property done, the one that I just did tonight, um, I realized I would have underbid that, that like uh, five acre lot. I would have underbid it and I would have been I would have been so mad at myself. I was gonna charge uh, 500 bucks, but there, it's not straightforward. It's not straightforward. It would have taken me a long time and uh, it wouldn't have been worth it because who knows what's out there on those fields. So, um, I'm glad I got a, I kind of passed on that one. Um, gosh, what else? Lawns are still growing here in Alberta. We're getting lots of, they're slowing down because we got lots of heat, but uh, but they are growing still. And uh, they, they're usually slowed down by now. Usually by by this time, you know, you're skipping properties, but this year all my customers are happy with me coming weekly and without, without skipping any properties, uh, any weeks, because they know that financially it just, it doesn't work for me. I can't. I can't afford not to cut weekly or bi-weekly. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely easier when you can get on a lawn and just cut it once without having to double cut it or anything like that. Uh, all the equipment, you know, is running good. Let's pray, pray that that keeps going. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I guess that's all the updates. It's uh, 10 o'clock here. I guess it's time to go in and and uh, go in for the night. So I hope you guys are doing well. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.